are seeing more and more cases like this one at an alarming rate. That's what officials say. It's called the new norm. I spoke with a team at Hurley this afternoon, and they tell me they've seen a child as young as six months old come in after getting their hands on marijuana. It was pretty shocking, but uh, we've definitely seen an uptick in both high school students, young children, toddlers, even to the point of infants in the emergency department. Dr. Hernan Gomez is a physician in the pediatrics emergency room at Hurley Medical Center. He says a child at six months old is crawling around and they find gummies infused with marijuana. Then parents bring them in because they are showing unusual signs that aren't good. They may be very sleepy, sometimes with an increased heart rate. Um, and of course, mental status changes, meaning they simply have a, a depressed mental status. How serious is this? It can be. Typically, it, it's not serious in terms of being life threatened, usually, uh, especially if you're older children, adolescents, a little bit of increased heart rate, some mental status changes. Uh, but we can put them on a monitor and simply watch them in the emergency department. Across the state, there's been an increase of children ingesting cannabis. Research from the Michigan Poison and Drug Information Center shows pediatric cases jumped by more than 73 percent from 2020 to 2022. According to Dr. Andrew King, the average age of a child reported to the Poison Center was two years old. It's far more powerful. In small children, they can sometimes pro have problems with their airway and problems with breathing safely. So in that circumstance, it can be very dangerous. So we have to admit them to the uh, pediatric intensive care unit and, and watch them very carefully. Dr. Gomez recommends that people keep all cannabis away from children in the home. He also says to talk to kids about sharing food at school since we've seen some cases where children are consuming edibles during lunch or snack time.